what is going on kingsman welcome back to another napoleonic total war 3 battle today we have another clash of monster armies the gigantic factions here so we have on the french side we have an eight point espana backed up by an 11 point france you have in the center a 10 point france Achreich, backed up by a six point france russia nord and uh, taking them on is going to be at least two Austrian armies, a Sardinia Piedmont and a Russia-Austria nine-pointer. Now, you can see France has some positions here. I did fast forward a little bit. Um, Eight-point France has pushed up to this position. They have the artillery set up, skirmishers. This ten-pointer set up kind of a little bit back, but looks like they may be actually moving up to support their ally. We will see. Um, and six-point France has taken over this right side. You can see... Piedmont, Piedmont Sardinia is pushing the flank quite aggressively here and uh, yeah let's see what their plan is this six pointer obviously gonna have to deal with that flank um, this France gonna have to hold the center or yeah the center and it uh, looks like actually the coalition is pretty content to not push forward at this point in time. They look like they have artillery set up. Maybe they're waiting for Russia, Austria to push up, um, which, oh, we have some infantry already firing the first volleys here. Against some cavalry, looks like they maybe took out two or three. And not a whole lot though. And here comes the 11 pointer rolling down the road. So this French army waiting for um, this, ooh, Polish and, yeah, just a massive Polish and guard, ooh, guard and Polish troops. This is a very interesting, and of course they have some heavy cav, actually poor units of heavy cav. This 11 pointer is really putting the weight on this army. Now we do have six point France engaging already here against across the road here using their Swiss lines in Polish. And uh, Sardinia is going to have the work cut out. I think it's a pretty dead even fight. Quite even, I would say. Um, I'm really thinking the real action is going to happen over here, though. I think this is where France is going to push their flank. I mean, the crosshairs against Austria is a given, given that you can just roll the Austrians. They don't have tons of squares. If you have infantry close by to support, it's going to be an easy win. Um, we do look like France is going to support their LLC as Sardinia is pushing up. Wow, a lot of Sardinia pushing this left flank. Six point France has their work cut out for them. Skirmisher is kind of screening part of this army. Looks like some Grenadiers. Line of infantry. Beautiful volleys exchanged across the river here. Uh-oh, got some cavalry charging the skirms. Can he save his Swiss skirms from this Kazaki Lancer unit? One skirm breaks, but I think they managed to save the other. Oh, don't back charge your unit. Man, they just back charge their own unit. And uh, that actually could really hurt them. Holy cow, France. Losing so many to one small Kazaki Lancer. This is a huge victory for Russia, Austria. Now over here, you can see nothing really. Still just artillery firing back and forth. This battle is in full swing here. Oh my goodness, six point France is getting just toasted. They are getting obliterated. They do have this massive assault column in the back, just waiting sappers in the LOC, but Sardinia, oh, they are doing an excellent job. My goodness, France is breaking. They're going to need the full weight of their army, and if Austria, Russia is smart, they are going to crash down on this flank with Sardinia and just squash this right flank from France. Uh, the center just holding still. They honestly should do something. So France either needs to make... A move um, on the left quickly or they need to shift more reserves over here because this six-pointer is dying right now 
And look at this. These guys just getting chopped up. Sardinia has some excellent quality troops here. And they're doing a very good job of breaking. Now more Swiss now pushing over here. Squareables now. The Swiss reserve should hopefully help out here. Artillery though now joining in the fight. They have some Bav Bavarians. Bavaria in the fight as well. This assault column needs to go into melee. They need some calf support here, though, if they want to make this fight. Oh, do we have a bayonet charge? Yes, we do. The Polish charging in the flank as Sardinia is trying to attack here. Oh, man, that huge flank. This is going to be a problem. Oh, can they do this? I appreciate that. Oh, hold that thought. Actually, we do have French units looking to make some contact here. As you just have this massive, deep lines, these thick, super deep lines that are going to smash in, at least the plan, I'm sure, is to smash into the Austrian line. You can see they're actually falling back immediately. We may have some cavalry who's going to charge in here. Oh, some, some Voltigeurs pushing forward here. That is the flank that is going to be worked on. I'm um, over the town. France is getting rolled back by Sardinia. Cavalry is now trying to save this assault column. All the beautiful flanking volleys by Sardinia is going to make this very difficult on France. The cavalry, oh my goodness, France is just breaking. They're going to lose this assault. They're going to lose this huge unit. That's so unfortunate. That was probably very expensive. 230 man unit. Uh, looks like the rest of Six Point France is going to fall back here. They need to protect. Set up artillery, maybe, you know, in a defensive position and just defend against Sardinia on that side. Um, let the weight of the 11 and 10 or 8 pointer, which is 19 points total, do the work here. As you know, these cross the airs are going to smash into the Austrian line. Um, and that is going to be what's going to probably break this side. You can see, though, they are retreating here. Um... Yeah, they do not like seeing so many French troops pouring towards them. And now it looks like we have the Espana pushing forward too as this flank is starting to fall back. Artillery not set up defensively yet, maybe? Yeah, they are falling back everything, guys. They have just called a major a like evacuation tier 5. I, I don't know the tiers or anything, but you know. Oh my goodness, so we have more artillery from the coalition set up here. Horse artillery, four guns. And uh, we are seeing Austria, Russia advancing on the flight. This is so bad. It's a good thing that France uh, fell back when they did, or else they would have been having a whole exposed flank. These poor sappers have been left to their own fate. Brave, brave men. And now I think France should be falling back quite significantly. I would actually fall back and rearrange my line like this. All of the line like this. Using the river maybe to uh, defend here. String it along here. This would be my backup plan. And I'd have my artillery fall back to about right here. So we can start defending the flank. I mean, you see France is pretty serious about this assault. Look at this grand advance. That France has going on. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, artillery blasting in. But undaunted, guys. They are advancing. Austria is going to be much slower moving, guys. And man, they are they are not liking this. They are not liking the advance. Too many models for my computer to handle, even with how good my computer is. Yeah, look, that's an advance. That's a movie material right there. Now, let's check over here. France has managed to actually dislocate themselves or displace themselves a little bit. And, uh, oh, we have actually reinforcements pushing forward here on the flank. 
I mean, it looks like Austria, Russia is set up here. They, they could just use this, put some infantry here, and put the rest here, honestly. I don't think they need to defend on this side because now your retreat's cut off. If you want to retreat more, you're going to get the river, and it's going to be impossible to do anything. Oh, man, look at this, though. The artillery now set up. Austria has decided to make their stand here. The yeah, Sapper's finally breaking in that town. And here we go. This is what Austria can see. They can see a grand amount of infantry just marching towards them. Could you imagine seeing this? You stand there in your line, or even a general, and you just see it super mad. I mean, you have your own reserves, I guess. But you see tons and tons of French just pouring over the hill. This right side seems a little bit weak, in my opinion. Um, and the French are going to probably capitalize on this. There is only a couple units here. The artillery, like I said, they're in the front line, though. They should be not. In my opinion, you put your artillery... Like, the artillery should be back here. And the line should be right here and then right here. So there's an open space for the artillery to shoot. But, man, this, these French are about to just crash this line. That's my prediction, at least. Uh, they're being very aggressive. They are doing what France be doing. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack. Artillery is even pushing up. What is this other French army doing? That is the question. Looks like they have joined up with Six Point Tyrol. Sardinia is once again pushing forward here. France has their artillery that is going to set up, so they have a good defensive line now. They are going to get the first volleys off. They are being defensive now, not uh, offensive. Um, Austria, Russia is going to have to coordinate with Sardinia if they want to take that fight. Now over here, looks like France is going to stand and take some volley fire with the Austrian line. Um, but I can guarantee you they have plenty of cab. Their cab is going to do something. They want to keep it away from the artillery. But Mirad needs to watch out. He's probably going to be the focus of artillery. Um, this cab is going to be the focus of artillery. I think he's going to have to just go in for it. I'm very curious. Are these guys hidden? No, they're not. None of them are hidden, so the, the Austrians have to know what's coming their direction. They have to know. There's no way they don't. They have some uh, heavies of their own, I believe. Yeah, they have some crossiers of their own. But they have to know that this crossier attack is impending, and this Lancer is not going to be enough to stand in the way of Yura. Yura will be there. Here he goes, guys. Here he goes. So you can see he is going to make the assault. I guarantee you infantry will start pushing up at the same time or once they've gone through. This artillery is facing the wrong direction. It's firing at artillery or at infantry instead of at the cavalry. It should be firing at this. They can get three juicy shots into the heavy crossiers. Let's see over here. It looks like it's just turning into a line fight. Sardinia is actually starting to have some wavering. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to concentrate on this side because I want to see this cap charge. I love heavy cap. Uh-oh. The guns are turning. The guns are turning. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Wait, where are they firing? Oh, I think they actually did fire, but here it goes, guys. Here's the glorious charge being headed off by the Carrossier. Artillery gets off him. Oh my goodness, here we go. Going for the infantry. And going for the Lancer, so actually don't get a charge bonus off. And it starts, and now France is going to probably push up their lines here. We have some units, guarantee you the general's nearby to uh, rally. <clears throat> nice flanking volleys by the Austrians here. But here comes the French assault column. Austrians gonna try to outshoot them, but oh man. Here we go, a counter charge. Going in the line, Austria doing a beautiful job of counter charging, trying to stop this French assault that is just starting to roll forward here. Cross here is once more charging in here. Oh my goodness, it is getting bloody. Line infantry, some Polish as well in the front line. So the Polish charging in with the crossiers. Gonna hopefully try to break down this flank. Those Lancers did break, and France is now closing in with some of their trilliers. 
on both sides. Mira sending in even more infantry. We also have a flank here, beautifully done with the Lancers taking out the Austrian Cav. And Austria is now going to start having a huge loss. They are, of course, taking heavy losses against this Austrian line over here. And I totally freaking missed this. Totally missed it. What happened here? What happened? Looks like a bunch of Sardinian cavalry charged in. And Six Point France just got wiped off the face of the map here by S Sardinia. Seconded by Austria and Russia. Um, at the same time, let's check over here where France is going in with this assault. Doing a very successful push, I'd say. I don't think they've broken a single... No heavies haven't broken. They're pulling out the ones that are tired. And, uh, okay, France did lose one or two lines, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. The heavy cab makes everything cool when it's France. Look at this raging fight here. And France sending even more crossiers trying to break up this line. And does a beautiful job. Oh my gosh. They just like, you saw the impact and how much it pushed back these lines. France is actually though taking some losses here. They do have lines trying to volley the crossiers of Austria over on this side. It does look like Russia, Austria is pushing forward, being a little aggressive here. The rest of France, oh my gosh, he is just, they are gonna lose this fight. They need to fall back. I think they should have fallen back across this river. In my honest opinion, we do have some crossiers here. And, um, oh, I do remember this now. So, this is one that they told me that I had to watch. Um, and this is why. This player drops. This French player drops right here. And um, they said it was such a close, vicious fight that I had to watch it. So I'm watching it. It's a 3v4 now, guys. France on the right side has totally caved. And uh, Austria over here seems to have lost. And uh, now it looks like France is going to be running down some troops, trying to continually push this flank. It does look like the French, yep, the French have dropped. So six point France is uh, dead. And now France is gonna have to turn and defeat two more French armies and part of an Austrian army. Um, yeah, yeah, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. More lines crashing into the Austrian force. What a vicious attack here. As now Austria is trying to regroup with the remnants of their forces, they still have plenty of cavalry, surprisingly. Um, they could have really been used earlier against that crossy air. Unfortunately, they seem like they're probably a little farther back than they meant to be. Oh, the musket bug on France. This is why France is to melee. See, these guys are just standing here, not shooting for the longest time. But Austria is going to try to do a tier defense here. Just gotta watch out they don't shoot their own, you know, troops. Yeah, so Austria's having to fall back. France totally caved in here. And so now Austria, France is going to uh, push up with Sardinia. Both very successful on their attack. Of course, it is an AI here, so it's just a matter of time. And it was, unfortunately, Jorf crashed, I believe. That is his general. And that is the 10 point Osterreich breaking. <clears throat> uh, poor six point. France is no more. They have one square left. And that is it. It's going to be up to two armies, guys. It's two French armies versus four. Or maybe three. Um, although Austria seems to have quite a lot of troops left on this left side. Um, a lot of the troops came back. You see not a whole lot of routing by Austria anymore. So how how is France going to win this? I don't I don't know if they can. Maybe this they send it because they just want to inflict heavy the like inflicted so many casualties. Oh, they broke the artillery with infantry. And at this point guys, they have to push. They have to be as aggressive as possible. 
they are shifting some reserves over here um 11 pointer is shifting over to help out with eight point um what is this the eight point yeah espana has some forces on the right the the ai are getting cleaned up here but it's only a matter of time before and you can see the austrians are actually retreating over to their ally um man we have a nice juicy cab charge by the lancers if you love lancers you'll love this cab charge beautifully done look at the officer here getting a kill and breaking more austrians man Oh, are they going to go for the general? They should go for the general. Please tell me you're going for the general. Please. He's sitting right here. What a goofy looking hat. What kind of hats are these? Seriously, what kind of hats are those? Oh, the general. Oh, no, the general. He's dead. Where is he? There he is. Or not. Oh, oh my goodness, France went in for melee. And now they're going to get a juicy charge in the back lines to get that flank. Oh, what a excellent maneuver. They are breaking the Austrian army as they're trying to retreat here. Doing a beautiful job of it too, might I add. Look at this mass route here. Now, keep in mind, there's still an Austrian army or a half of an Austrian or a quarter. I don't know. There's, there's some of the Austrian army still over here on the right trying to stay away from this French um, army. And now France, basically what France is doing, guys, is trying to break as many of the Austrians before they join up with their ally. Uh, that's basically what they're doing. And uh, it seems to be actually paying off a little bit. There's some Austrian cabs still on this flank, way in the back. Um, that can still be quite damaging to the French lines. France needs to uh, consolidate. Ooh, we have another cab charge. Oh my goodness, just so many beautiful heavy cab charge. Unfortunately, it does like they hit a square. So they're going to have to fall back. Beautiful volleys by the Austrians. Emptying quite a few saddles, as you can see. And now Sardinia pushing through this French army that is broken. We have uh, some squares of the AI just kind of sitting. Oh my goodness, more cavalry charging in. These crosshairs are trying to break this army as quickly as possible here. And it's not being very easy for them to do so. Forcing them into a square so they can bayonet charge. And you can see here, they're pushing ever on the flank. Constantly pushing, trying to... They actually, I think, are trying to push in here and stop this Austrian army from reuniting here. Um, and here comes France. Austria needs to keep falling back if they want to survive. They need to get to their ally before France gets to them. And man, this has been the story of this Austrian army. The masses of reserves, the deep columns, the reserve columns, the assault columns of France. Here we go, Austria, Russia pushing up, trying to save their ally, trying to put some pressure maybe on the French army. Um, as they have to walk a decent amount in order to catch up here. 11 point France forming up here, maybe resting up their troops. Yeah, they're definitely resting up troops, preparing to make a another attack here. Imagine the general giving an inspirational speech, asking if they fall in one more time, one more grand assault. Like, rally man, one more, one more. <laughs> Just one more. As they see another fresh army and see their allies routing, that would be disheartening, to say the least. All right, France is falling back here. Austria has put up quite a vicious fight. Oh, what? We have an LLC. Oh, six point France. Being the little cheeky player that they are, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. They snuck back here, took an LSC and holding it. That's, hey, I mean, good on them. They are not giving up the fight. They're like, I'm going to hold this LSC. It's a three pointer, actually. Um, it's a three pointer, guys. So if it comes to an LSC, they have one more three pointer that you know they're going to hold. 
All right, looking at the grand scheme of things, Austria is actually, oh my goodness, Austria is coming into Sandwich. Austria needs to attack here now if they want to make this push the cabin now. They don't have any squares. They have like no squares here. If Austria pushed in right here, they have a square right there, but nothing else. And France is having to divert so many forces here to this attack. Look at this. Getting attacked from two sides. Oh, hold that thought. We have a cab charge. Once more, these Austrians have not seen the last of the crossiers. We're now going to cave in. These guys are winded, but they are going to collapse. And we do have a counter charge by some Lancers here. Can France break these guys? They need to break them now. There's an Austrian general to inspire these guys to stay in the fight. A counter charge by some more Austrian cavalry. Oh, things are getting desperate. You can feel it. The desperation, guys. France has to win this rapidly, very quickly. And Austria is pushing forward with so many forces. More Cav now pushing forward, though. Dragoon's going to try to flank this Austrian heavy. As this Crossier is trying to dislocate themselves from this fight. And, oh, the mass route is beginning. Oh, this could be. This is huge. Another Crossier charge. Collapsing in on a much... Oh, wow. Actually, this may not work well for them. Our men are running, sir. Oh, the sacrifice of the crossiers. And here comes Austria, Russia, and Sardinia. This brave... Oh, okay, we got some artillery set up in the front. 12-pounders. This brave French line has got to hold back two armies. Uh, we have some more French here trying to hold. And Austria does break over here. At least part of their army does break. And now these tired men, exhausted, tired, winded. They got to turn and face yet more coalition forces. This is just so outnumbering. This is almost unfair. So unfair for the coalition. I, I, I'm just kidding, obviously. Um, it's actually been a pretty dead even fight. Coalition on uh, this side really didn't have to do much because that drop. And it was just a six point here, but oh, do we have some troops trying to get a bayonet charge on the horse already? Yes, they do. Come on, charge him, charge him, charge! Give him the cold steel. Oh, come on. Nope. Well, they're gonna break. Oh, man, guys, I don't know who's gonna win this. I really don't know who's gonna win this. This side's looking pretty scarce, guys. There's not a lot. Sardinia's rolling forward with quite a lot of forces here. Oh, France is gonna be in a rough place here. There's even cavalry support. Sardinia is gonna go in for it. The reserves are almost here, but man, they're so they're tired. They are tired. How much longer can these guys fight? This poor unit's about to get volleyed. And watch, here goes. Are they not volleying? All right, well, things are looking even more desperate than they were before. Like, as if that couldn't, if it, as if, you know, oh, nice charge. Some Polish trying to rout Secure the right flank, and they do, but they break immediately. Brave men. Oh, do we have a cap charge going in against Sardinia? Do we have some fresh crossiers who are rested now? Yes, they are. They're charging in. Oh, yes. Oh, unfortunately, they hit a square, but they need to now pursue with infantry. Try to route. Here we go. The assault, the assault columns are pushing forward once more. Oh man, this French army is starting to have some wear and tear against Austria. But here we go, Grenadiers who are fresh. Beautifully done. And now the heavies can go against this massive unit. Oh, are they gonna fire first? 
Look at the impact that these heavy cab have. Oh, it's over. It's over. Sardinia's getting that pushed back here. They're sending in their cab, but is it going to be enough? Over this side, France also charges our break in Austria. Russia, they need to do something fast. This whole French line on the left flank is just getting broken down. Austria set up an infantry next to this wall. They're going to start chipping away this French army. This French army needs to start falling back. They're about a mass route. But here on the right side, Sardinia is breaking more heavy cab now. They're active, and they need to push forward. There's no rest for the weary. They must attack, attack. Man, I'm getting pretty excited. If you can't tell, I'm pretty excited right now. I'm excited. I think the French can bring this around. They are doing a beautiful job of it. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. So much coalition cavalry coming to help deal with this French onslaught. Do they have the squares? Can they rally their forces? Crossiers who are tired now gonna try to tie them down. French artillery is firing, breaking more units. Oh, they need to get a, come on. Send the crossiers on the flank. This unit is tied down. So much cavalry. So much cap. Oh, France. France is really gonna need some help here. They have no squares. Their units are getting just overwhelmed here. Their units are tired. They need fresh... Oh, wow. What? Oh, they didn't. Okay, I thought they broke that, but it didn't, ha didn't work. Okay, France. Oh, my goodness. Breaking Austria. Pushing on this flank. And French camp tied up in a deadlock match against the Austrians. Oh, the mass route, though. The Chevaliers are breaking, but now the okay. Now the French have won, but they don't have any cab left. What cab is going to save them from this massive Austrian army? And they are mass routing. They have one dragoon unit here, one crossier with 42 men. I mean, seriously, imagine being one of those heavy horse. You would have been so exhausted at this point, having charged in so many times, losing over 50% casualties. How would you still find the strength to continually fight, especially when units like this keep coming back? Oh no, they are doing such an excellent job. Austria is just out shooting the French. France, they have some reserves left, but can they do this? Austria smacking into the lines here. They are pushing, ever tightening. The circle around France. Can France turn this around? Sardinia's almost gone, guys. But Austria is coming back with a vengeance, and Austria, Russia still has quite a few troops left. And they have mostly, it looks like, mostly uh, Austrians. So some good shooting stats. Oh no, Austria is breaking the French. Send for the reserves. Some winded dragoons are going to push forward as well. Some crossiers who are winded charging into the Austrian line. Can they save this force? Can they save the flank? Oh, man. It's so close, guys. So close. And France is going to charge it. Oh, they're getting volleyed in the flank here. Come on, France. I'm rooting for France here. They're the underdogs losing some of their allies pretty early on. Come on. Clutch this out. You know, you know the game conversation during this game was stressed, I am sure. All right, France is going for a volley, but Austria is going to bayonet charge them. This cab is wavering. They need to keep this in the fight. Mira is going to run up. Promises men that after this they go to Paris. If they win this fight, they can go to Paris. He will let them all retire early. Just kidding, he wouldn't. You know. You know the French men would uh want to keep fighting. Napoleon. Be like, Napoleon is watching. Alright, well. France is falling back even more 
as they just their units are too tired guys they're tired active exhausted these poor french men have been fighting almost this entire time to get such overwhelming numbers this one the, the first line has volunteered to stand and try to save time so the rest of the army can come out of this alive so they are all going to die and sacrifice they're sacrificing themselves but even their resolve cannot be shaken and they're gonna break but the French actually managed to fall back a significant amount um, they need some rest their cab needs rest if they're gonna win this they have two cavalry units left I do believe Oh, six point tire roll sneaking up. Uh oh. Artillery's unlimbering. Sardinia wants to still be able to help in this fight, and now they're pushing up here. They probably don't know how many of this six pointer there are. So you can imagine they probably are going to want to divert some forces here. The rest of the front of the Red Coalition, man, they let the French get away. Um, that's. That is a huge failure on their part. I'm not saying that in a bad way to bad talk them, but they let the French definitely get away. And uh, that may bite them in the butt in a little bit. As uh, they... <laughs> They're going to let the French rest up a little bit. Do not let the French rest up. This brave Swiss square trying to hold. Yes, sir. Holy cow. France is just in the middle of this Swiss square. I mean, how did they get in them? That may be a little bit messy here as uh, they definitely ran all up in that Swiss square. Poor Swiss. All right, let's see what France can do. No artillery, cavalry is fresh. All right, fresh cav. They just need to let this French mass routing troops get away from them first so they don't cause a debuff. And then they can keep fighting here. Oh, these poor lines are just getting obliterated by this Austrian line. Is that artillery pushing up? No, it's just routing troops. This French army is in a desperate place. All they need is one good cab charge, guys. Our men are running, so All they need is one good cab charge, and it could be over. Nice thing is Austria, Russia is very slow. Their forces are not going to move very quickly, especially in this muddy plain. Which is going to give France the advantage. And it may be their only advantage. Their one shot. Oh man, the amount of dead. Ooh, ooh, Rossier is dead on the plains. One of those, what, this is a real MVP, these guys, really carrying the battle. Let's see, I, I'm really curious what France is going to do here. <laughs> this is literally it, guys. This is all France has. And, uh, oh, man. They have two Carassiers, one Dragoon. All right, so they have heavy cav. Who are they going to go for? I feel like Austria is the weaker part of this army. And if you see, they've kind of been maneuvering themselves this direction here. Austria just needs to keep their distance if they want to win this. They need to keep their distance. They cannot get too close to the French or else they will get killed. But here we go, Russia actually getting very dangerous close to the French. 
Uh, very dangerous for the French and dangerous to the Russians. Both taking a gamble here. I think it's a bigger gamble for France to try to do something versus Russia, who has plenty of reserves and has their general. Oh man, France just can't stand. Where's their cab gonna go? They have to send in sooner. Their units are just getting chopped up here. Ah, it's just rough because you don't know where you would do it. They're extending here to hold the line. Maybe they're gonna push their cab over to this side. We see Rush is actually falling back from it. They don't want to get too close. None of them want to get too close, although Austria seems to be getting very close here. Stop right there. Tell the Austrians to stop right there and just start volleying them. They can afford to just volley the French and break them. Gosh. I hate to see France lose All this. Running, they seem to be losing it. Oh, oh my goodness. It's here, guys. This is for all the marbles. This is it. Oh, they advanced too close. The crossiers charge in. Oh my gosh. Here come the French. The assault is coming. <laughs> oh man. Yes, they're smashing through the center. Oh, more crossiers going to get volleyed here. Can they smash through here? France going in. I see wavering. I see breaking by Austria, Russia. Murat has to give a rally. They need a rally here. Oh, I charge in the back by the Dragoons. Oh my goodness, this pocket just got eliminated. Oh my goodness, the Austrian rush just broke. Whoa. Oh my gosh, guys. This is it. France can win this. They can win. I believe in you, France. I believe in you. Okay, now the Dragoons are going to start curving our hands here. I apologize. I'm getting too excited. I'm breaking your ears. <laughs> this is just too exciting. Oh, Sardinia is coming up to try to back this up. Oh, it's the Austria, Russia. They pushed a little too close. And their units were not standing there because they could have given a punishing volley and it probably would have broken a lot of this ca heavy cav for France. Uh, but they ended up not because they were pushing forward. So you just got to... It was a gamble. It was a gamble. Unfortunately, it did not work well for them. And now, do we have... Yes, we do. They're going to smack into this Sardinian line here with some Dragoons. France now going to try to curve this line around. Austria still pushing. They need to try to end this, but they're getting too close as well. I would charge this unit in a bayonet charge. Why are they running? Why are you running? Come on, France. Oh, yes, France is definitely letting the Austrians play right into their hands. Sardinia is just... They are, have a lot of allies that are routing. I guarantee you that's causing morale problems for them. And do we have it? Do we have it? Our a ton crew pushing forward. Is this it? Come on, Austria. Clutch it out. Even though I feel like it's more satisfying to see the French win because being down so many players. Or, I mean, they're down a player. Technically, two, because Six Point France just died. But that's just Six Point France going up against two armies and uh, not having a support because the other guy crashed. The Austrian general is charging in. Oh, okay. All right, guys, this is going to be a win for we France. Their general, sir. Now they must break. This is going to be a win for France. What a win. What a... Seriously, what a win. I... <laughs> Man.
the cavalry still trying to break this Austrian line. Austria had a significant amount of squares here. Here we go. Dragoons going for Sardinia's general. Once that general breaks, this unit's going to break if it doesn't already. Sheesh. Artillery in the way back for Sardinia. Just got to get cleaned up by cavalry, and this battle will be over with 19 minutes to go. This is like the whole like Waterloo quote where, you know, I lost the battle at... Oh, shit, I'm forgetting the quote right now. You know, any Waterloo fans here will know. We lost the battle and gained it back. France has lost the battle and gained it back at 8. Was it 8 o'clock? I don't remember. I feel like 8's kind of late. Anyway, I'm going to fast forward here because this... <laughs> This is just an artillery piece that needs to get taken, and uh, this is going to be a French victory. Who would have thought, even with a player dropping, did they have Napoleon? It'd be kind of cool if there was Napoleon on the field. I don't think there is. I don't think he made it, and I wish I could see the results of this battle, but for some reason I cannot still. Uh, very sad. Miraz going for all the glory. Their generals, sir. And, they uh, must break. oh, there's one LSC left. Are they going to leave them in there? Oh, it's a general? Is this a general staff? Really? All right, well, uh, at this point, then, I'm going to skip to the end, because... Yeah, it's, it's, it's useless. Oh, wait, I think you pulled them out. <laughs> Is this artillery crew? Four men? Yeah. He's sending his artillery crew. The four last men. And they're going to die bravely. All right, that is the battle. Man, one of the closest battles. Um, yeah, look at the crosshairs, guys. Oh, my gosh. The four crosshairs, the real MVPs. Look how many chevrons they got. How many kills? How many losses? Um, obviously, they, they carried for this, this, this battle. I mean, they carried hard getting you know these got 275 237 150 144 good grief and mira got even 23 kills when the general gets 23 kills you know it's serious no but anyway guys that'll be the battle that'll be the battle i'm uh man a well done well fought clutched out on the edge of your seat kind of a battle it, that's, there's nothing else to really say except for that, and it was amazing. This one was sent in by Matt Bob. Matt Bob playing as this 11 pointer with all the freaking heavy cav. <clears throat> um, I remember now he did message and send this one to me saying a player dropped, but it was still insanely close. Um, and he was not wrong, it was very close until the very end. That clutch cav charge smacking Austria Russia is just what finished it for the coalition. Um, if they just been maybe a little more cautious, maybe they would have won. I don't know. Who knows? France probably would have found another edge. It's heavy cav. It's really hard to to counter that heavy cav. But uh, they went for the one that didn't have as many squares because Austria had a decent amount of squares. So they went for Austria, Russia, who did not have a lot of squares. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. Well, you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and I will catch you all in another video.